Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can install a free plugin to create a ticket support system on your WordPress website for the customer support. So you can create a customer support portal on your website and your customers or the visitors will be able to log into the website and they will be able to create tickets on your website. Let me show you an example. Here I'm logged in as a customer. I have a support option here. I can go to the support and on this support portal, I can create tickets. So here I can click on create a new ticket. I can enter the information, the subject, the description. If I want to upload the file, I can also upload the file. Here you will see the priority of the ticket it will be normal, medium or critical. Once you enter the information, you can click on create ticket and it will create a new ticket. Here you will see the previously created tickets. Now let me show you how does this look on the admin dashboard. So here I'm logged in as admin and this is the dashboard. The name of the plugin is Fluent Support. This plugin has free as well as the pro version. So I'll show you how you can use the free plugin and later I'll install the pro plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro plugin. So this is the dashboard of the admin and on the dashboard you will see all the tickets. You can go to the ticket, you can add reply to your ticket. You can also see the information of the customer, previous conversations with the customer. You can also close the ticket from here. You can also create multiple support agents and you can assign these tickets to different users or the agents. From here, you can add reply to the ticket. And if you want to close it, you can add reply and close. Here you will see other option to close it. You can also bookmark the ticket. Here you will see the reports. On the reports page, you will see the reports of all the tickets, how many tickets are created, how many are closed, how many are active. You can also create workflows where you can add automated replies to the tickets. And these are the options, workflow trigger. You can create different triggers on ticket creation, on customer response, on ticket closed. And from here, you can set the actions. You can add reply, assign agent, add internal node close ticket, add tags. So these are the actions that you can perform in the automated workflow. So automated workflow option is also available. If I go to global settings, you will see all these settings are available. You can also integrate Fluent CRM with this plugin. And from here, you can create multiple support agents. Now, let me show you the website of this plugin. This is the plugin website. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to buy the pro version of this plugin, you can use my link in the description box. The name of the plugin is Fluent Support and you will see all the features of this plugin. And let me show you the pricing of this plugin. So the pro version of this plugin will cost you only $91 per year for a single domain. 10 business email piping, unlimited email passing, one year plugin update, one year priority support. And if you want agency license, it will cost you $175 for five domains and for 50 domains, it will cost you $280 per year. So this is the pricing and you will see all the features of this plugin. This is a self-hosted plugin. All the data will be saved on your WordPress hosting. If you want to integrate, you can integrate this with the cloud storage such as OneDrive or Google Drive. So let's see how we can install the free plugin to create the ticket support system on your WordPress website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And now I'm going to install a free ticket support system for your WordPress website. So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for the plugin Fluent Support. So this is the name of the plugin. Here you will see Fluent Support, WordPress Help Desk and Customer Support Ticket Plugin. Click on install now. Click on activate. So the plugin is installed and in the left hand panel, you will see the option Fluent Support. Click on it. So we are on the dashboard. First, we need to add the name of the business. I'm going to add the name of the business. Let's say this will be Param Services. So you can add your business name here. Then you can add your business email address. So I'm going to add the email address here. And below that, 
it will ask you to assign a page for the support portal. If you do not have any specific page for the support portal, then there is an option to create a page automatically with the short code. So it is going to create a new page and it will add the short code automatically. So I'm going to select this option, create a page automatically, click continue. Now it will also ask you to install the Fluent form. So this is another plugin to create the forms on your website. You can add this form. You can also integrate this form in the Fluent support system. So I'm going to select this option, install Fluent forms. Then we have help us to make Fluent support better. It is not necessary to share your data. If you want to share, you can enable this option. Your email address, we will send tips and advanced usage of Fluent support monthly. So if you want to enable the monthly newsletter, you can add your email address here. I'm going to click on continue. Click no thanks. All right, so it says awesome. Your support portal is ready to go. Here we have some options, view ticket, email system, email settings, set up associate or product services for ticket, manage support staff, global settings and go to dashboard. So let's go to manage support staff. So this comes under global settings. You will see it here. Here you can manage the support staff. By default, we have one support staff added there. If you want to add new user, you can click on add new user. And from here, you can create a new user. Let's go to settings here. So these are the basic settings, global settings. If you want to add tag to the ticket, you can go to this option. However, these options are mostly available only for the pro version. Ticket form config for the pro. So all these options are mostly for the pro. Plugin. If you have a WooCommerce website, you can add a product here. In upcoming videos, I'll show you how you can integrate this plugin with the WooCommerce website. Fluent CRM. If you have Fluent CRM plugin, you can integrate this with the Fluent CRM. I have already published a video on how to use Fluent CRM plugin. You can watch that video. I'll give you the link in the description box. Incoming webhook is for the Pro. So mostly these options are available for the Pro. Let's go back to dashboard. On the dashboard, it will show you how many tickets are created, how many new tickets, active tickets, closed tickets. You will see all the information on the dashboard. Next is tickets. If there is any ticket, it will show it here. Then we have reports. It will show the reports, personal report, agent reports. This is for the pro version, product reports and business box reports. Let's go to customers. It will show the customers saved replies you can save the replies. You can create templates for the replies. Activities, it will show the activities. Business inboxes. Here you will see the first support agent. Workflows, you can also create workflows. However, this is also available only for the Pro plugin. So I'm going to install the Pro plugin and I'll show you how does this work. Portal page. So this is the message that will show when you go to the support portal page. I'll show you how the support portal page looks. All right, now let's go to pages here. And you will see that one page is created automatically. That is support portal. If I click on it, go to view. And it shows that customer portal is only accessible by customers. So right now we are logged in as admin. So it will not show that page to the admin. We need to be logged in as customers. If you want to edit this page, you can edit this page. Right. So this is what shows short code. If you want to add something else, you can add some information or some content. Let's make it bold and click update. Let's go to view. So this is how to look. Now we will add this page in the main menu bar so that customers will be able to access. So let's go to appearance, go to menus. You will see the page is added here. Let's add this to main menu. And let's name it as support. Save the menu. All right, now let's refresh it. All right, so you will see the support is added here. Now I'm going to open this page in another browser where I'm not logged in as admin. So let's go to another browser here. I have opened this website in another browser. Let's go to support. And this is how the support page will look to the customers. So this is the content that we added. Welcome to support portal. If the user is already logged in, it will go to the support system directly. If not, then they will need to log into their account on your website. If they are new to your website, they can create an account. So let's create an account here. All right, so I'm going to sign up to this website. I'm going to create an account. And after that, I'm going to log into the support system. 
All right, so I'm logged into the support system and this is how the support system will look to the customer. All open ticket, close ticket, all tickets. Now I'm going to create a new ticket. All right, so here I can enter the subject. All right, so here I can add content. All right, if you want to add any image or any file, you can upload the file also. And here you will see the urgency of the or priority of the ticket. I'm going to mark it as critical and click on create a ticket. So one user has created a ticket and this is the ticket. Now let's go to the dashboard of the admin. When someone creates a ticket, the user or the admin will also get the notification of the ticket. Let's go to dashboard, go to fluent support again. And here you will see one unassigned ticket. You can also go to tickets here and it will show the ticket open, active, closed, new, all. So right now this ticket is open and it is not assigned to any user. You can select this one and from here you can assign the agent also. Right now we have one agent, assign the agent. All right, now let's go to a view ticket. Okay, so this is what the customer says. I need immediate assistance with your service. Now here you will see add reply. You can also add internal note to the user. And this is the information about the user. So I can add a reply. All right, so this is what the reply is. And I'm going to click on add reply. All right, so status is active. Now let's go back to the customer's dashboard. Refresh it. You will also see refresh option here. Now again, you can reply to this ticket. You can add the reply here. Click on reply. Let's go, to, let's go back to admin support and refresh it. You will see the reply here. All right, now let's go back to all tickets. You will see the reply status still says waiting. You can check this option. And from here, if you want to close the ticket, you can click on this option, close ticket. And this ticket will be marked as closed. If you want to see the closed tickets, you can go to closed option here and it will show the list of tickets which are closed. Let's go back to customer dashboard, refresh it. And you will see that the ticket is closed. And if you want to open this ticket again, you can click on this option and the ticket will be opened again from the customer's end. If I go to all, you will see all tickets all right, so this is how the support ticket system works. Now I'm going to install the pro version of this plugin. Let's go to plugins, click on add new plugin. I already have a pro version of this plugin. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link to buy this plugin. Let's go back to the add new plugin. Click on upload plugin. And this is the plugin. I'm going to install it. Activate it. All right, so the plugin is installed. Let's go to Fluent Support. And now you will see all these options are available. You can create templates for the quick replies. You can also see the activities, business inboxes, workflows. Now here you can create different workflows. Let's click on Add New Workflow. Click on Automatic and let's name it as Demo 1. Click Continue. Now here you need to set the condition to trigger this workflow. So you will see different options here on ticket creation, on customer response, on ticket closed. Let's try this one on ticket creation. And from here you can select different options or conditions. Click this one. Let's select this one ticket priority is equal to let's say critical. This workflow will trigger when the ticket priority is critical. And what do you want? This will be the action, add response, assign agent, add internal node. So if you have multiple agents and some of them are special for the critical conditions, then you can assign this ticket directly to that particular agent. All right, so let's use this one, add response. And let's add the response. Alright, so this is the response that will be added automatically response from the currently assigned agent fallback agent, you can assign a fallback agent action title. 
All right, let's click on save. You can also add another action and you can create a workflow like that. All right, let's publish it, update it. Let's go back to workflows. All right, so this is the workflow that we have created. Now let's go back to global settings here. And if you want to create ticket tags, this is now available because we have installed the pro plugin ticket form configuration. These are the configurations for the ticket form. You can add multiple fields, custom fields. You can add custom fields. If I go to add new, you will see the field type that you want to add to the ticket form products. If you have WooCommerce website, you can use the products support staff. From here, you can again create multiple support staff. This is for the Fluent CRM integration, incoming webhook, notification integration, file upload. Now here you can integrate this ticket system to the Google Drive. So all your data will be saved in Google Drive or Dropbox. Auto close settings. You can also enable the auto close inactive tickets. Ticket importer, you can get it imported from other system. You will see the options here, help scout, phrase desk, Zen desk. You can also add a recapture. Here you will see the option to enable the recapture. You can get the site key and secret key from the Google recapture and enable the recapture. So this is how you can create the support ticket system on your WordPress website. If you want all the features, you can definitely go for the pro plugin and the pro plugin will cost you only $91 per year for single domain. You will see all these features are available in the pro plugin. So if you want to buy this plugin, use my link in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.